I'm with Grub Smith, popular, well-known journalist for magazines such as FHM, GQ, Maxim, and uh, Poker Player, of course. And you've also did Sin City. That's right, Sin City. It's a marvellous television programme, which I warmly recommend to anyone with red blood and a bit of gristle in their bone. It's a fine show. I went around the world uh, meeting women almost as beautiful as yourself, uh, although they were quite perverse in some of them and did things which were shocking to a Catholic boy. And you're commentating for the English Poker Open tomorrow. Who are you commentating with? I'm going to be in the booth with uh, the wonderful Barney Boatman from the Hendon Mob and uh, with Matt Broughton, who is one of the few poker playing commentators and poker players who can sing. Basically, it's him, the Devilfish and Marcel Lusk who have a voice you'd want to hear. How did you get into the commentating? Well, I was playing poker back in the men's, ma men's magazine games back in the mid-90s, which was before the sort of poker boom. So we, it was just an excuse to sit around with a bottle of whiskey and smoke cigars, and we really had no idea what we were doing. And we played the worst sort of games, like eight-card Omaha, high-low, eights and under with a wheel, or, or things like Anaconda and Spit in the Ocean. And that, you know, it took about four hours to explain the rules, so we only got about two hands in a night. Uh, and then when poker started becoming you know, more widespread with late night poker and uh, the internet and the, the money maker effect. You know, I happen to be a journalist and a television presenter. So even though I'm by no means the best player in the world, trust me, you could win this shirt in about 10 minutes. Uh, and I wish you would. Uh, I was there and able to, to work with the TV guys. So do you play a lot of poker now for fun, even if you don't want to play professionally? I never play for fun. I always play for money. The difference is I'm far too mean to play for very much money. Uh, and a lot of people I used to play with back in the day have, you know, have won the, you know, the million pound prize and the, you know, half million here. And, and you, you think, oh, well, you know, Vicky Corrin did that, I could have done that. Or, or Liv Barry did that, I could have done that. Um, but they are obviously they applied themselves really well to the game, worked really hard, and they had that thing which I think all great players have, and I definitely don't have, which is a lot of gamble. Um, Scotty Wynn, the famous, famous world champion, I think has, been, has gone broke a hundred times. You know, he's, I think Phil Helmuth has mortgaged his house. You know, and these, these guys are at the top of the game and even they have been right down to the bottom and, and that would just crush me. I'm too weak, I'm too pathetic, I'm not a man. <laughs> are you looking forward to the commentary tomorrow? Well, we did it last year and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, there was a great freedom to it. Karim, the guy who runs Rake the Rake, our noble sponsors, just told us to go out there and have fun. And it's, what makes it really exciting, of course, is that we can't see the whole cards. Now, I've done you know, lots of poker tournaments on television where it's easy to sound like a wise old owl going, oh my God, Doyle Bronson should fold these queens or whatever, because you can see the other guy's got king. Uh, we don't get that safety net with this tournament, which is why it's really exciting to commentate on, because we have just as much capacity to look like idiots as anyone else, and of course to look clever. And what I found last year is, is a new respect for Barney. Barney's been around you know, poker tables all his life, but he was able to read the cards just from the betting patterns and how long people were taking. It was like he had you know, Darren Brown vision. Again, another reason why I should never play poker. They say that if you sit at the table and you don't know who the sucker is, it's you. I sit at the table and I know who the sucker is, it's me. <laughs> I've got to ask you one last question. Is your first name actually Grub? My first name is not Grub. My initials are M J P J Smith. And I've always said I'll marry the first girl who can guess all my names in one go. So here's your chance. Challenge for you. M J P J. Have a guess. M J P J. Uh, Michael. John, Peter, Jack. Close. Two out, two out of four. That means we can we can have a dirty weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks so much.